Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Dusty here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Google Drive from start to finish. So if you're looking for an in-depth tutorial on how to utilize and best make use of Google Drive, then you are in the right place. So we're going to go from start to finish, how to set it up and how to utilize it and uh, basically make best use of all the tools provided within the platform. So the first thing you need to know is you got to have a Gmail and a Google account, obviously, to sign in. So uh, I'm going going to go ahead and assume you have that and you've signed into your Google account and then go to google.com slash drive. And then once you're there, go to uh, the blue button here that says go to Google Drive, or it may take you directly into the interface here, which is going to look something like this. So let's go ahead and go over the uh, the basically the basic interface, and then we'll dive into the tools and how you can utilize them. So at the on the left hand side here, you're going to see something that says your drive, you're going to see something that says computers, you're going to see something that says shared with me. So under your drive, this is going to be basically where all of your folders and files that you upload will be basically they'll be housed here under my drive now under computers here this is going to be if you have like the uh, the application the Google Drive app downloaded on your PC or Mac uh, basically you can have it sync from different computers again I don't really use this that much because I use drive as a cloud-based storage system so if this is something that you want to do I have a tutorial on that and I'll link that down below the third one here will be one that says shared with me now I handle basically all of my work and business and workflow all is done through Google Drive because I pay for a premium version and we'll talk about that shortly but basically any files whether it be audio video text whatever it is images all of it I handle and I send and receive through Google Drive so under the shared with me tab this is going to be when someone shares something with you like I worked uh, a wedding this past weekend uh, as you can see here here is the document via Google Drive via Google Docs that was shared with me and I can find that under shared with me uh, recent is basically just a quick uh, I guess you'd say reference for you to go and click the recent there and see everything that has recently been shared with you or that you have shared with someone else basically kind of like a history of, of kind of what you've done within Google Drive so it actually goes back for uh, throughout the day throughout the week and even earlier this month and earlier this year the start section here is going to be if you star a folder or or a file within your drive so if I go here and let's say I go to this specific file here I right click on that and then I go to add star that's going to add a star to that document or folder now when I go to start here it's going to show me that document uh, oftentimes I use this as a quick reference guide to basically star all of the pertinent documents or files that I come to frequently because think about it the main benefit of Google Drive is being able to be anywhere in the world and access all of your files as a youtuber I I do this so so much uh, and if you go to my drive here you can see that I have my YouTube channel right here and then all of the normal stuff that I'll need my thumbnail templates my audio everything will be here my end cards within this folder within Google Drive and then under the trash here you can see this is stuff that you've deleted and then I purposefully let this build up because I'm going to show you how to empty that basically what you're going to want to do here uh, is go ahead and and again if you right click on a file you can see that it you, you can either restore it or you can delete it forever so again click that and then delete it forever and then shift click at the bottom or control click to select a whole bunch of them and then as you can see right click delete forever and that's going to delete those files completely from Google Drive so remember that uh, and again up here at the top you're going to see quick access uh, Google Drive does a really good job of keeping track of again Google knows a lot about you right so they're gonna know the notes and the files that you've either opened recently or been sent recently and those are gonna be in your quick access bar at the upper uh, I guess you would say center of the screen here and then down below under your drive you're gonna see all of your folders and files within the main drive here now if you want to upgrade the storage I'll show you how to do that now on the left hand side you'll see something that says upgrade storage click on that little tab there and then you're gonna see the different subscriptions that Google and uh, you know basically provides to you uh, now again remember that your storage is shared across everything so within Gmail within Google Google Drive within your photos uh, because I use Google Photos and love Google Photos I'll do a full tutorial on that very soon don't worry about that uh, but as you can as you can tell I use the 100 gigabyte version so I believe it's something like 20 bucks a year for hundred gigabytes which as you can see uh, as much and I, I do a ton of stuff within Google Drive as much as I utilize it I'm still not even halfway uh, there yet so but again once I get up and I use hundred gigs I definitely will move up to the $100 a year mark which is is a terabyte and that is an obscene amount of storage so 
as you can tell, I use this on a daily basis. This is something that is a complete uh, integral part of my workflow. So let's go ahead and dive into how to use Google Drive and kind of what you can do. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is how to add a file and a folder. So if you want to add a file to Google Drive, you basically go to your drive here and you either click the blue new button in the upper left hand corner and you can add a folder. You can upload a file. You can even upload a whole folder or you can create a new document, a new spreadsheet or a new slideshow with the Google suite of apps, which would be Google Docs, Google Sheets and Google Slides. So that's how you add a folder and a file. Or you can go down here and just basically in the anywhere where you see kind of blank space, you can just right click and then you're going to see the same exact options. Now, if you go to more here, you're going to be able to utilize other Google, I guess you would say suite of apps like Google Sites, Google Maps, Google Forms. But we're going to focus on the three main ones here, the docs, the sheets and the slides. So let's go ahead and say we want to upload a new file. I'll go up here and go to new and then I'll go to file upload. Now it's going to bring open this box here, which is basically allowing you to search your computer for the file that you want to upload, because the main purpose here is for us to find a file, upload it to, to, the, to the Google Drive. And then when we're away from our home computer, we can go and log into our drive and download it wherever we are in the world. So let's say I want to go ahead and find an audio. So we'll go ahead and find an audio track here. I want to go ahead and upload that. So I select the file and then I click open or either double click on the file. And that's going to uh, allow me to upload it. You can see here in the bottom right hand corner, it's going to give me a progress bar there. And then once that green check mark appears there, you're going to know that that file has indeed been up uploaded to your drive. And now you can see here that Google Drive does a pretty good job of labeling it and tracking what type of file it is. It is a music file. So they put a little microphone icon icon beside it there, which is beautiful. Uh, and then again, if you're uploading multiple multiple files, you'll see that basically the, the, prog the progression bar will be the same way over here in the lower right hand corner. And then when you're ready to remove that, basically hit the X in the right hand corner there, and that's going to remove it. Now let's talk about manipulating files or folders once we have them here. The beauty of it is I can click on this here and I can actually move it like I would be like in a Finder or a Windows Explorer on my Windows or PC. I can basically move and click and hold and drag this wherever I want it to go in my Google Drive. So let's say I want it to go into, say, uh, this guy right here. I can click and hold and then release the mouse button. And then as you can see there, it'll show you that file has been moved from your drive to multiply. So your drive, think of it as your home, right? This is your home base. And then within that home base, you've broken that down into folders, into files and things like that, just like you would organize your digital assets on your PC, Mac or Linux, whatever you're using. Uh, and then if we go into that folder again, by double clicking, you were able to see now that here is this file. Now I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and go ahead and drag that back over to my drive. And I can do that by just hovering over my drive there. And then basically, if you want to manipulate a file, uh, as far as like renaming it, you can right click on that file. And then you're going to see a few different options. This is where the I guess you would say the power of Google Drive comes in. Uh, you can preview that file by, by, by left clicking here. And as you can see, it's going to start previewing the audio. Uh, you can also below that you can open with you can choose the exact application you want to open it with, uh, whether it be an application on your computer or online. Uh, and then this is the one I want to focus on. And we're going to get into the sharing aspects of Google Drive here in a little bit here in a couple of minutes. But basically, you can right click on a file. And if you want to share it with someone, this is where you would share it, you basically click on that share tab there. And then you enter the email address. So if I want to share it with myself, I will basically go ahead and enter in the email address. So here's my email address, I'll go ahead and click on that. And then if you want to add a note like, hey, uh, here, you know, and then basically type in what you want to say about the file. And obviously you can add multiple people. So if you want to, you could add multiple people. Again, you can keep adding emails if you want to. And then with the, uh, basically with the pencil drop down here, you can choose the actual permissions that those people will have with those files. Do you want them to be able to edit the file? If so, select this one. Do you want them just to comment? So you're working with your team and you don't want them to mess up the file, but you want to allow them to comment. That way you can kind of get a, a good feel for how they feel about it. You can do that there. And if you just want them to look at it, you just select the can view option here. And then once you're ready to go, you can actually click the advanced section here and choose how you send it. So you can share the link via Gmail, Google plus Facebook or Twitter. Normally I wouldn't mess with any of these. I would do it the normal way. And then if you want to, you can check this box here to 
just send a copy to yourself to, to let yourself know, hey, I did share this with these individuals. So we're going to go ahead now and just do it the normal way. And then we'll hit the blue send button there and then very carefully. And when you're done, you just hit done. And then that file has been saved. Now I'm going to go ahead and log into my Gmail and show you what that looks like when you've had a file shared with you from Google Drive. All right, back over on my Gmails here, you can see that uh, Dusty Porter has shared the following audio file. It tells me the uh, basically the file name and then the little note that I basically inputted there into the share box. Now, if I go and click on open here or click on the file name, it's going to basically just open the file where I can play it, I can view it. Uh, and then because I put can edit, they can actually go up here in the right hand corner and they can either comment by hitting the uh, comment button here or they can go up here and hit the download button and that will actually download the file to their PC. Now remember, every type of file is going to work differently. So if we go here and go to my drive, and then let's go ahead and go to let's just take a look at maybe this budget here. Let's take a look at a, a, a sheets or a spreadsheet. So if we go here, and we double click and open that Google Sheets page there, again, you're going to be able to comment up here, you're going to be able to share this within the file. So again, every type of file is going to respond and going to be able to be interacted with differently. Now, how are you going to know if a file has been shared or if a folder is just your folder or it has multiple people working in that specific folder. So I've actually done a couple of folders here to show you exactly what that looks like. Now, here's one that I have shared with a, a coworker of mine. And the way that you can tell the difference is if a folder is just yours and hasn't been shared to anyone, it's going to be just a normal aesthetic you know, folder here. It's going to be a gray folder. But if it has been shared with someone, you're going to see a, a little, uh, basically an avatar of a person person here on top of kind of transparent on the folder. So if we click this here and double click this folder, we're going to be able to see up here that it is being shared. And if we actually hover over that there, we're going to be able to see once we click, we can share that folder with other people's other people what we can share that with other people if we want to that's going to let you know that, uh, that that's definitely shared with other people and then when you see a file with uh, multiple avatars beside with you it's going to actually show you that that file has indeed been shared so that's how you tell the difference of indiv individual folders and files and files that have been shared with you that's why if you go to the shared with me option here most of them are going to have the little uh, the little avatar there on top of the folder uh, and the next thing that you can do once you right click on a file is you can go to move to so not only can you drag a file or a folder somewhere you can click the move to button there and then it's going to bring up all of your internal folders that you have access to on your drive and you can scroll down and choose the one of your choosing to move that actual file to then if we right click here we can actually add a star which will actually again highlight it and will show up under the starred section of your drive like I showed you earlier we could even rename that file so if we click on rename it works very similar uh, to to the way you would uh, again handle files within the finder on a Mac or Windows Explorer on a PC but we can again rename uh, the file here and then once we're done renaming it click the OK button there and you can see that it has actually been renamed very very simply there within the drive uh, we can actually view details if we right click on it there and the view details is wonderful because here's why it actually gives you a history and that's why I love Google They're a very detailed company, but it allows you once you view the details of a file, it'll show you when the file was created, when it was added to Google Drive, who has had access to the file, who has made edits or changes to the file. All of that will be done in the activity over here on the right hand side. And then if we click on details, it'll show you the size of the file, where it's located, who created it, all of that good detailed information. And then if we just hit the X option here, that's going to, to remove again that option for us. Now, if we right click once again, we're going to see that we can actually manage versions. Now, this again is getting into the weeds just a little bit. But if we go to manage versions here, if there was an edit or an update made to, a, say, a document or a, a Google Sheets page or whatever it may be, you can see the uh, the first one, the first revision, second revision, third revision, all here. And then you can actually upload a new version if you want and let people who you've shared this with compare and contrast the different versions of that specific file. Uh, then if we right click here, we can actually make a copy or just download download or remove it and send it to the trash can. So that's kind of how you handle files and manipulate them within Google Drive. And remember, the same thing works for folders. So if we right click here, we can go to new folder or go up here to the new button here and then go to new folder. And then you give that folder a name and then you've got a brand new folder within your Google Drive and you can start putting stuff where you want it. So remember when you're working with Google Drive that it works best with the Google suite of products, but you can also upload uh, again file formats that are not directly 
directly supported within Google, but it works much better when say you can go up here and go to new and then go down to where you see Google Docs and then click on that option there and then create a Google Doc. So let's just say you create uh, a document here within Google Docs and then basically you give that document a title. So let's just say you put your title here and then once you're done, you basically see here where it says my drive. If we click that option there, it gives us another option to select the folder that we want to put it in. So let's go ahead and say that I want to go ahead and put this in my ePortfolio. Click the blue move button there. It will actually be saved in your ePortfolio. So now again, it's wonderful that everything just works together. When you're in a document, it basically works uh, it works so much better again when you're within the Google suite of things And so when you're in like a Google Doc like this We can go up to the right hand side of the corner and go and click on share and then enter in the names We want to share it with directly from within the Google Doc now if you guys have any questions or concerns about Google Drive I know it's a lot to take in uh, the last thing I want to talk about is the settings and then I'll kind of give you a, a place where you can kind of approach me and ask me questions about the software if you click on the gear icon here within Google Drive we can go down here where you see something a couple of different options we're gonna to go to settings first so if we go to settings here we're going to be able to see the amount of storage that we have left available uh, we can convert uploads if we want to you can change the language and uh, all of this stuff here within the settings uh, under notifications here we're going to be able to get email or browser notifications i primarily stick with browser notification I mean email notifications because the browser notifications uh, become a little bit annoying after a while and then under manage apps here basically this is where you can go and, and add or remove apps from within the Google suite uh, and then once you've done that there click the uh, gear icon once more and go to where you see right here where you see keyboard shortcuts this works like it would with any application uh, this allows you to change the shortcuts within the Google Drive settings here to move or manipulate the way you can use your keyboard to actually interface with Google Drive and then the last one that I want to show you here is the download backup and sync for Windows you can actually download uh, the Google Drive backup and sync and drive file system that will actually allow you to uh, backup all of your files within Google Drive on an actual uh, folder within on your PC but for me the benefit of Google Drive is not having to worry about the confusion of the files on my PC but with that said it is nice to know and it's a good safe feeling to know that all of your files have been backed up have been synced if something were to happen to Google Drive not that it would but if it did that option is available for personal and business use and then also in the right hand corner you'll see the little three icons here the grid view if you don't like that view here where list out your folders and your files you can click the grid view and it'll actually show you stuff kind of more visually uh, I prefer the list view just because it's how I've always gotten used to looking and manipulating files but again if you want the grid view it is available to you in the upper right hand corner also you can search your drive in the upper left hand corner here uh, you can search for different files and folders so if you search in there not only will you be searching for the files but you would also be searching for say email addresses that you've shared stuff with works very similar to uh, again searching for stuff in a word processor hopefully you guys got something valuable out of this video if you know someone who would use this video whether it be a company a person or whoever it may be share that with them please and also subscribe to my channel like my video I'm here to make your technology life easier I'm also here to help you grow your YouTube channel. I'm also here to help you build your business and get your message heard. So please subscribe to the channel if any of that sounds of interest to you. And until next time, guys, talk to you later.